to my channel and welcome all of my Winchester family members. And if you don't, do not know what that is, those are the members who have subscribed to this channel. You are now Winchester family members, which means that's what you get to be called now, which is really fun. And if you want to become a Winchester family member, all you have to do is hit that little red button down below that says subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to it so you never miss an episode. So today's episode is my weekly episode, actually, where I give you my updates on all my plants. And I have some amazing plant updates this week. I had to wait like a few seconds because the guy behind us was doing yard work and it was very, very loud. So my hair is up in the bun today. Just, it's hot. Put it up in the bun. So that's basically why. So here is my Christmas cactuses in full water culture. Full water culture is basically they're in water 24 seven. So if you have Christmas cactuses or any cactuses of any kind like that, Christmas, Easter, I don't remember how to reference, so I don't. Um, you would need to give them, if you want to try this, which it does work. You just have to be patient as hell though. You have to wait at least three months before these guys start showing white roots. That is what you want to see. You want to see white roots. That guy has a lot of them. Which I didn't notice these guys getting those kind of roots until about three months into the full water culture. But what I did notice is these guys drank a lot of water. So as long as they're drinking water, in about three months time, you should see white roots. That means it's going quite well for you. If they're not drinking water at all, the like water level stays the same. Oh, and my cactus fell. And water level stays the same for about a week. Usually they'll drink water in between those days. But then a week I usually have to give this guy more water. But if it doesn't happen, it means it does not like the full water culture. So then you might want to try semi-water culture, which is depending on your location. If you're down in the south, like in Florida, two days in water is fine, five days without. Yeah, but you just have to go based on your what your heat, your temperature, the environment around you. If it's not as hot as the south right now, maybe three days with water. But you just have to go based on your environment which is always a good thing to do. So now I'm gonna pick this guy up that fell out because he must be defiant today. And this is the guy that has lots of roots. He did not wanna stay in his little hole. So we gotta put him back in there now. And this is the week where I usually change the water depending on what the water looks like for my plants in full water culture. If the water is a little muggy or has bugs in it, it's a good, chance you need to change the water. So here's this guy in full water, which still has some fertilized water in it. And he's growing quite nicely, lots of white roots, which is always good. I have to change this guy's water as well. But I only have one in here. The other two are in the same one because they're so small and this guy is so big. So this guy had lots of buds when I first purchased it back in October, I think. It's around the holidays. I know that for sure. And the buds never came out because the soil was so bad for me. And they were marked down, so they were damaged. And now we get to these Christmas cactuses who are not in full water culture. They're in soil. The soil that I use, that I recommend for everybody to use because it's so good, is the miracle Grow Moisture Control. Because when you use this... Um, soil you never have to fear that you're overwatering or underwatering your plants miracle grow moisture control will water your plants as they need it and no this is not a sponsored video i just love their soil so much so this guy is going quite well i think this guy's going to grow some tips soon and this guy as well is going to grow some tips soon the way i can tell with mine is if they're looking to grow more leaves they'll have these little very invisible little sticks, furs kind of thing that that usually tells me they're going to grow in their leaf. So they have like these little, I'm going to try to show you guys, but I don't know how well you can see them right there. 
but those are the signs that I usually see before they start growing leaves. Now we are going to get to this guy over here, which is another Christmas cactus and my aloe. So we're going to start with this Christmas cactus because every day, I swear, <laughs> every day I find new leaves on this guy. Every single day. So we got lots of leaves over here and we got some leaves over here and we got some new ones growing in today. So yeah, this guy is growing leaves at least one or two leaves every day, which is amazing to me. And all I have this guy in is just like the bottom of a two liter with holes in the bottom. That's basically it. It's not a special holder for plants anyway, so it's not a special pot. And then we got my aloe right here. And this leaf is starting to drop down, which tells me it's going to start growing a new leaf. That's how you can tell if your aloe plant is going to start growing a new leaf is when these old leaves start to fall down like that guy is because when they're growing they stand straight up but once they start falling that's when you can you know that new leaf is going to grow really soon and i have lots of leaves on that christmas campus it's amazing so now we are going to get to my orchids which i have a lot of awesome updates for these guys. So again, my orchids stay in full water culture and they love it. Obviously this root loves it because it's growing secondary roots on it. There's like so many secondary roots growing on this guy. It's amazing. And Coach has to go outside again. Yeah, so all the roots look from Yesterday when I saw this root, I thought it was a flower spray because it was going straight up, but my eyes like, oh, it's just a root. <laughs> but this guy is growing a leaf right there. It's right here, right there. There we go. So yeah, it's growing a new leaf, which is always good. I want it to grow new leaves all the time because that tells me it loves it. So with this guy, as you can tell, this leaf is starting to go. This leaf right here, because it's starting to yellow. Um, it's almost back down to the base where it's yellowing, which is fine. It's all good. It's like if it was this leaf that was yellowing, I would be concerned, because you just want the bottom leaves to yellow off and fall off. That's normal. When your top leaves are doing it, then there's an issue. And I'm just looking at my root system here, which we got this guy right here coming out, starting to come out. And I think I have another one right under here. I just can't really see it right now because it's hidden. So I think I got a couple more roots coming out. So yeah, this one's looking good. This leaf's going to fall off in a few days. It might be gone by next week. So if you see me up here and you don't see this leaf, it fell off. So it might be gone by next week. And for my orchids, I play it safe. I only use distilled water because I don't know the hardness of my water here. So if you want to use just regular tap water, you have to find out the hardness of your water. And you can do lots of research of what the best type of water is to water your orchids. Me, I just buy distilled water. I just buy a gallon of distilled water, and that usually lasts me about a week or two. Just distilled water at my grocery store. These are about 89 cents, so it's not that expensive just to buy distilled water. Or if you have a contraption that can collect rainwater, that's even better. But with me, I'm playing it safe. I don't have a way to collect rainwater. Um, I don't know the hardness of my tap water, so I just use distilled water. That's just it. So now we're going to get to my last Philanopsis orchid. I forgot to tell you guys, I only care for Philanopsis orchids because when they bud, their buds can last up to a year, which is amazing, especially if you want to see pretty flowers every day, which I do miss, by the way. And they're very easy to take care of. They don't have a blooming season and a non-blooming season. 
they bloom whenever they want to, which mine are not there yet. So we have that's a good root. And when I pulled off this dead leaf, I have a root here. And I have a root right behind here. And I can't pull it off because there's a root right there. But I have a root right there. And I think I have one more coming in right there, which is amazing. And we got a new leaf. So these are all good signs. If your orchid, give at least three months for your orchid, whatever orchid you're working with, at least three months to show signs that they love the water culture. Don't do a month and then switch it and then, no, don't do that. I did that. That was, that was a big mistake. Big mistake. So I give, you have to give these guys about three months to show you that they love water culture. And mine do. Because this guy is growing a secondary root. And we got these guys over here and we got more roots growing. Right there. And that guy is growing a secondary root. This guy is growing lots of roots. It's growing a new leaf. Which is always very, very good. So I probably talked about this before, but I'm talking about it again. The way you can tell what is a root and what is a flower spike. Flower spikes usually grow in between the leaves, which mine are nowhere near that right now. <laughs> and a root will go through the leaf. So if you see something like this guy right here who's coming through the leaf, that is a root. And roots are usually silver color unless they are touching water. So yeah, I have no flower spikes as of yet, which I'm okay with that. I want my orchid to have a very good root system before it starts giving me a flower spike. <clears throat> and keikis are a little rare for organs. Um, it would just depend on the organ's DNA. If it's more prone to keikis, then you'll get more, which means you will have a lot of orchids and a lot of flowers. Um, the thing with keikis is what I found out is you can either cut the keiki so you have more organs, or you can leave it with the mother plant, which is both fine. But if you want to cut the keiki, um, you have to make sure it has an established root system before you cut it off. Because if the orchid does not have an established root system, it's not going to grow. And when you have a keiki, I think you won't see a flower spike within the first couple of years. I'm not totally sure about that. But there is an awesome YouTuber who I follow who is called Miss Orchid Girl. And she has done a video on how to remove a keiki from the mother plant and everything you need to know about that kind of stuff. So yeah, that is it for my plant update video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys real soon. Mm -hmm.